The technical difficulties in preparing plutonium did not end when the reactor successfully irradiated uranium fuel rods. The now highly radioactive rods had to be processed so that the small amount of plutonium could be retrieved. This took place in the massive T plant, 875 feet long, 85 feet wide, and rising 102 feet this gargantuan building of thick, high-density, reinforced concrete was nicknamed the Queen Mary of the Desert. Inside was the canyon. It contained a series of cells interconnected by an elaborate system of pipes and tubes. The irradiated uranium fuel slugs coming from the reactor first were dissolved to liquid, passed from cell to cell, and subjected to a series of chemical baths and mechanical operations. Because there was only about a half a pound of plutonium in every ton of uranium we were dissolving, we had to add another element to increase the bulk because this was a precipitation process. And the material we used was bismuth. Because of the intense radiation, the entire process was done by remote control. There was a crane that ran the whole length of the building. This enabled operators to make repairs or change out equipment along the process line from three stories above the cell floor using remote control equipment. The design is, uh, is still pretty commonly used in almost all nu in nuclear facilities all through the world. Uh, it was designed, the di design was developed here at Hanford, which we were very, very proud. These crane operators were using optics to view what was going on in these process cells. And I swear they could thread a needle with those, those cranes. There were two or three hooks on the crane and a couple of impact wrenches that then connected what we called jumpers. All the instrumentation came through these jumpers. All the, all the liquid transfers, all the electrical supply for the centrifuges, all the instruments. It was a marvelous design. After the chemical separation process, the newly extracted plutonium was converted into a solid metal form and then shipped to Los Alamos for use in the Fat Man bomb or perhaps to become part of this country's Cold War nuclear arsenal. <laughs>